Hey guys, uh, welcome back. So till last tutorial, we saw all the tutorials, uh, all the sessions on um, the assertion concept. So now I'm moving to the next topic, which is uh, uh, properties axis. So see, this is kind of uh, similar uh, uh, to parameterization in QTP. You are passing in the values like four plus four so you can you can rather than sending it every time manually what you can do it you can you can create a global repository kind of thing where you can store this number and you can access it at project level or test suite level or at test case level if you are creating the attribute or properties at the project level then it will be accessible at all levels test suite test cases if you are creating it at test suite level then it will be available only for the test cases so let me go ahead quickly and create a couple of custom properties saying number one the value is say four and uh, add another attribute number two and again I'm passing the value as four So once I did this, I need to pass these parameters here. So what should I do is delete the number. Oh, okay, cancel. I'm sorry. Delete the number and right click, get data, project level, property number one. So the value what I'm providing here will be passed while I'm hitting the endpoint so I'm changing the second number as well click on get data properties number two so once we did this <coughs> if you hit the same response you will get as eight let me delete and hit it again if you see here the value number eight it is displayed so you are passing the uh, properties at project level same thing you can do at custom level I'm sorry uh, test suit level go to custom properties this give the number as with a different tag number one num1 or num1 four click on add num underscore number four so come here and delete it click on get data test suit level num1 and delete it get data test suit num2 and remove the value response the same result you are getting basically you are you are passing the different values so the third thing at the test case level we can create the custom properties but I'm going to show you there is a function there is a there is a menu called load properties from an external file so what you can do is you can quickly create a file a text file saying that a text document test text document and open it so in that create number 1 equal to 4 number 2 equal to 4 and click on save once you did that uh, come back to the soap UI click on load file Make sure you are selecting this checkbox creates missing property browse and go to desktop and test.txt open and click on OK. So whatever the numbers we updated there it will be updated here. So you can you can create if you have say 100 attributes to be imported just create it as a text file and you can import it. 
and remove this value here and right click get data test case property number one and delete get data test case property number two remove the response and edit so it will give the same result as it so this is how you need to pass the properties at the project level test suit level and test case level and you can import uh, the properties from external file hope this helps while you are dealing with the real time test data thanks for watching